evolution of computers. As technology becomes more advanced, machines become more efficient, faster and with a better design. Do you remember the telephones from years ago? They were big, heavy and difficult to use. Over the years, better technology was developed and we saw wireless phones, mobile phones and even phones that let you talk face to face. In the same way, computers have also evolved in their function as well as their looks. Computers today, like the ones you see at home or at school, are light, compact and fast. But this wasn't always the case. When we talk about the history of computers, we must start from the basic computing machines that people invented in order to help them with mathematical calculations. The first of these is the abacus. Believed to be invented by the Chinese around 3000 BC, an abacus consists of a wooden frame along with beads. The abacus can be used to perform basic mathematical operations like addition and subtraction. In the year 1642, French mathematician Blaise Pascal invented Pascaline, regarded as the first calculator of the world. It was a mechanical calculator that could perform addition and subtraction. The first Pascaline could only handle five-digit numbers. But later, Pascal developed six- and eight-digit versions of the Pascaline. Gottfried Leibniz, a German mathematician, modified the Pascal calculator in 1673 and developed a machine called Leibniz calculator. As machines evolved, the great inventors of the modern world worked harder to develop machines which could perform more functions. The first electronic computer was called ENIAC. ENIAC stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. It was used for general purposes such as solving numerical problems. ENIAC was invented by J. Presper Eckert and John Mockley. Now computers were ready to be sold in the market. For this, UNIVAC 1 was developed. UNIVAC stands for Universal Automatic Computer. It was the first commercial computer produced in the United States. It was designed by J. Presper Eckert and John Mockley, the inventors of the ENIAC. Some of the important characteristics of UNIVAC 1 were as follows. The UNIVAC 1 used vacuum tubes that were used as calculating devices. The UNIVAC 1 needed a lot of energy to function. 5,000 watts. It was able to handle not only numbers, but text as well. It had a backup memory for which magnetic tapes were used. It is due to the genius minds of great inventors that we have access to such technology that makes our lives easier in so many ways. Charles Babbage is known as the father of computers. He was an English mathematician who invented the difference engine in 1822. It was the first automatic mechanical engine. In 1833, Charles Babbage introduced the analytical engine. This was the successor of his earlier invention. The analytical engine was an automatic mechanical computer. Ada Lovelace, born in 1815 as Augusta Ada Byron, was an English mathematician and writer. She has been called the world's first computer programmer. She died in 1852. The British mathematician and philosopher George Boole was born on November 2nd, 1815 in England. 
he worked in the fields of differential equations and algebraic logic. Dr. Herman Hollerith was an American inventor born on February 29, 1860 in New York. He developed an electromechanical punched card tabulator. John von Neumann was a Hungarian-American mathematician. He was born on December 28, 1903 in Budapest. He made major contributions to a number of fields including mathematics, physics, statistics and computing. He is famous for the von Neumann architecture and linear programming. Howard Hathaway was an American physicist and a pioneer in computing. He was born on March 8, 1900 in Hoboken, New Jersey. He was the primary engineer behind IBM's Harvard Mark I computer. The evolution of computers occurred in stages, which are called generations. So there are five generations of computers that have been identified starting from the most primitive to the most advanced. The first generation computers developed between 1942 and 1955 used vacuum tubes. Data input and output was on punched cards while magnetic tape was used for external storage. These computers used machine assembly language. Examples of first generation computers are ENIAC, UNIVAC, and EDVAC. Second generation computers developed between 1956 and 1963 had more advanced circuitry. They used transistors instead of vacuum tubes. Punched cards were still used for data input and output. Magnetic tapes were used for input and storage. Now computer languages like COBOL, FORTRAN, BASIC, and PL1 were introduced. IBM 1400 and 700 series and IBM 350 were some second-gen computers. The third generation of computers came about around 1964 to 1971, and these computers had integrated circuits or ICs instead of transistors. A keyboard was now used to input data and the output was received on a monitor. Magnetic disks provided external storage. Complex operating systems like Pascal, COBOL, FORTRAN and RPG were used. Examples are IBM System 360, Apple I and Altair. Fourth generation computers which evolved during the 70s and 80s can still be seen in use today. Microprocessor chips were introduced for these computers. The mouse was added as an input device and printers for output. Storage capacity increased dramatically and special software for maintaining large database was used like RDBMS and C++ in 1985. The IBM PC in 1980 and the Apple Macintosh, which came out in 1984, represented fourth-gen computers. The period after 1989 to the present is considered to be the advent of the fifth generation of computers having artificial intelligence. These computers use optical fiber technology to enable AI and are able to think and reason. They can understand human speech and recognize complex patterns like faces and images. Through this evolution, we note that the speed of computers increased while the size and the price reduced over the years. Depending on their structure and functions, there are four basic types of computers. The first category is microcomputer. Desktop computers, laptops, tablets and smartphones are all types of microcomputers. The microcomputers are specially designed for general usage.
like entertainment, education and work purposes. These computers are the cheapest among all the types of computers. Next, there is mini computer. Mini computers are used by small businesses and firms. These computers are not designed for a single user. Mini computers may contain one or more processors. They support multi-processing and multitasking. The third type is called mainframe computer. Mainframes are not as powerful as supercomputers but are quite expensive. They support a multi-user environment where many users can work simultaneously. They provide good processing speed, large storage and space. The most powerful computers in terms of performance and data processing are the supercomputers. These computers are used for research and exploration purposes. Some examples of Indian 